You may have noticed on special days like Remembrance Day or Anzac Day that people are wearing a bright red flower. The story of this flower, the red poppy, begins during the First World War, 100 years ago. A lot of the fighting took place in the countries of France and Belgium. A beautiful and peaceful land was destroyed as both sides fought over it again and again. In some places, nothing was left. Everywhere was mud and little or nothing could grow. But then, out of the ground sprung bright red poppies. Thousands of them. One soldier, a Canadian named John McRae, had just come from the battlefield. He'd lost his friend there in a place called Flanders. When he saw all the red poppies, it made him want to write a poem, which he called In Flanders Fields. In Flanders fields the poppies blow Between the crosses, row on row That mark our place And in the sky the larks Still bravely singing Fly scarce heard amid the guns below. People back home loved John's poem. They began making and selling red poppies to help raise money for the soldiers who were coming home and the families of those who'd lost loved ones. The poppy soon became known as the Flower of Remembrance. 100 years later, people are still using the poppy as a symbol of remembrance and hope. If you come to the Australian War Memorial, you will see them everywhere. Visitors come and leave behind a red poppy as a sign that someone is remembered. Here at the Roll of Honour, you can see all the poppies that have been placed next to the names of those who have died in war. Maybe you would like to make a poppy to place at a local memorial for a relative or for someone whose story you remember.